Hi, my name is Chris Callam and I'm a product manager at IMT Medical. Today I would like to introduce you to the basics of flow measurement with both the PF300 flow analyzer and the Citrix portable flow measurement device. I will give you an introduction into the basics of flow measurement via a PowerPoint presentation. Um, flow measurement, as we do it, is in general a differential pressure measurement via a resistance. So, if the flow goes through this resistance, goes through the device, a differential pressure is built up and it's measured by the differential pressure sensor. This is the same in the Citrix as well as the PF300. The difference is what kind of resistance we are using. In the case of the PF300, we use a mesh, which is a highly linear resistance, and it's also highly sensitive for small flows. In the case of Citrix, we use a so-called laminar flow element, which is also very, li very linear, but a little less sensitive for low uh, flows. So when we look at the advantages and disadvantages is that we have here a very high precision and resolution, but it is a little bit dust sensitive. The pressure build up, the pressure building up by the flow is a little higher, which means it does affect a little bit my measuring chain. On the other hand, Citrix with the laminar flow element is completely insensitive to dust. Um, the pressure buildup is very low, but the resolution is a little less, particularly for lower flows. Here we can look into such a laminar flow element. It is basically a circular tubes. Uh, we see here an animation. It is sitting inside the the Citrix device and when we look through we can see the openings are relatively large. Looking at the PF300 and also a little bit about the Citrix, super important is to always use a filter. The filter protects the mesh, which is a high precision measurement mesh, from any kinds of dust or impurities of the air. Also, when the filter is transported, for example, by a service technician, it should always be put in a bag so that it does not acquire dust in the inside on either end, which would then be blown by the first little bit of flow into the PF300. If the flow goes both ways, it may, in some circumstances, be advisable to have a filter on the other side of the PF300 as well, which means on the rear side, this applies especially if you use a test lung on this side, which might be full of dust as well. That's something which has to be taken into account. Also, when transporting both PF300 and Citrix, it is important to plug the openings. So no, nothing can get in. It used to be yellow plugs, it's now some, some new ones are white plugs now, but it's very important to plug the inlets shut. This is how it looks when people do not follow that. Um, we see here symbolizing a few, a little bit of dust and this is how it actually looks like. We see here a little bit of dust uh, on, the, on the edge of the mesh. We see the mesh here in this area. Here we see a little less dust. The effect of this can be seen on the calibration certificate. This is actually an incoming inspection certificate. A customer sent back his PF300. We did an incoming calibration, which means we checked whether his accuracy was still good, but it was out of specs. We looked at the mesh and this was it. Use filters. Filters also have an effect on Citrix. <clears throat> Citrix, because it is a very short device, is to some extent sensitive to turbulence. So if my flow comes in like around the corner, 
there can be some turbulence which disturbs the measurement in here. So it is good practice to always use a filter and to use a 20 centimeter inlet pipe which is provided and comes along with every Citrix. We will see that in another video when we do good practice rules. So having a filter and having this inlet tube laminarizes the flow and the measurement accuracy is high as specified. So thank you very much for joining me on this little tour through the basics of gas flow measurement. This is the PS300 flow analyzer. This is the Citrix flow measuring device. Remember, always use a filter. Always put the filter in a bag when you transport it. And always put these little caps on to protect the device from dust during transport. Thank you very much and stay tuned.